the tornado in Portland, I was just looking at some yeah. Twitter chatter. People were out there eating lunch or dinner, I mean, and they saw it. And things that don't happen in typical places wow. gets eyeballs going, what? Uh, Fourth of July, here's your forecast, ladies and gentlemen. 60s at 10 o'clock at night. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, well, it's going to be a light show, right? And it's going to be a beautiful weather light show. Sunsets at 9, 10. So typically we get these things rocking and rolling around the 10 o'clock hour. So you got to stay up for it. But uh, most of us have the day off. Now, those of you that are partaking in, uh, in firework shows yourself, be careful, okay? Drought, just want to make sure everybody's aware the drought's been bad. And just to prove that to you, the rainfall has been in a light category. We didn't even get to an inch for the entire month of June, and we barely got to half of an inch for the entire month of May. So let's look at how much we picked up in May, 62 one hundredths of an inch, and the average is two inches. Needless to say, we haven't had a lot of rain or precip, and uh, we need more, obviously, but uh, things are dry, so be careful. Temperatures out the door right now, 50s and 60s, kind of like what we're going to experience during the 4th of July, okay? Very nice and mild. However, going into tomorrow, we're going to see a huge temperature tumble, especially for those areas that hit the highest around the state today, or technically on the west side. Uh, Redmond, Bremerton in the low to mid 80s. Uh, Leavenworth got a little toasty as well, but check out tomorrow's high, dropping into the 60s. Big temperature tumble, and then Wednesday we start to rebound and go back up into the mid to upper 70s, and it gets comfy yet again. Now the reason for that is a front that's going to be pushing down from the north. Also, we talked a little bit about that tornado that touched down in Portland. Well, the storm system that is bringing some isolated thunderstorms to our region is responsible for that. So the spin is down to our south, and now we're starting to see some of that activity work its way closer to Mount Rainier and trying to throw some showers around the south sound. Everything right now is light, nothing severe or potentially severe in our neck of the woods. Uh, but we do have thunderstorms east of the Cascades. Also, out towards the coast, we are seeing some light showers as well right there along the highway. And into tomorrow, we're going to keep showers in our forecast because that new cold front is working its way in. We'll start off in the 50s. We're only ending the day in the mid to upper 60s. So you're going to want to grab a jacket or something if you're going to head out the door. And we'll stay mostly cloudy throughout the day with showers around, okay? Uh, just looking at that UW high resolution model, of course, those showers overnight tonight will be light. They linger into tomorrow. And then notice where that front is coming from. This is 1030 in the morning. The San Juans experience it first. Northwest interior, Whatcom County, and then it shifts its way southward. As that happens, the cooler air filters in behind it. We have a little bit of precip, uh, of course, from that storm to our south, colliding with the storm up towards our north. And so this could get uh, somewhat active with some shower activity throughout the day tomorrow. And then we're done. OK, then we start to see temperatures rebound and we clear out. So here's your seven day. I got us only at 69 tomorrow. Some spots will only top out in the mid 60s. By Wednesday, we're dry again back in the 70s and we're smooth sailing through the weekend. All right, thanks, George.